What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and today I'm going to be driving the ATS-V for the first time. You would have seen across our social media platforms that Cadillac UAE have kindly been able to lend us their two super saloons. We've got the ATS-V and we've also got the CTS-V. This car is a direct rival to the BMW M3s and the C63s, whereas the CTS-V is a direct rival to the likes of the BMW M5. So there's no point in comparing the two Cadillacs together. So what I want to do today is two things. Review what it is like to drive around Dubai on a Sunday, which it, over here is a Monday, the first day of the working week, but also try and work out whether I can feel that this car is turbocharged. This is a turbocharged V6 with 470 PS. This thing is rapid. Sam has just finished filming his review and I've been in the passenger seat and this, it makes my stomach go. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the camera around, get myself out of shot and talk to you about some of the exterior features on this car. So let's start with the exterior looks and I have to say this is one of the most aggressive front facing cars that you're probably ever gonna get in your rear view mirror. If you look at it from here, there's been a lot of comments on my Instagram to say that the headlights remind people of the Nissan GTR. And as we come down here, we've got an incredible carbon fiber front splitter, which is an optional extra on this car. And it's probably worth mentioning that this car isn't available in the UK. It is available in Europe, and this car costs 69,000 euros. If you do want the two-door version, the coupe, it comes at 72,000 euros. What do you get for that price tag? Well, you get a very aggressive looking car. You also get a very, very fast car. And we have been told by Cadillac that this is one of their best handling cars ever. And I'm very, very excited to try and put that to the test here in Dubai. Even though we are pretty central, there's traffic going on at the moment because it is rush hour. I really want to try and open this car up, learn a little bit about it, but also try and work out whether I can feel that this car is turbocharged because that's one thing that Cadillac have been priding themselves on. The way these turbos have been built into the engine means that there is no noticeable turbo spool and the torque starts from the very bottom of the rev range. So let's jump inside, have a look at the interior and then go for a drive. So let's head inside this beast and I will show you around some of the features, some of the materials used to make this car not only luxurious, but incredibly sporty as well. So this car does 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. So for a car this big and comfortably sitting four people, that is incredibly fast. And Sam mentioned in his video, actually faster than his Jaguar F-Type. So we've got Bose surround sound system in here. This is an automatic eight speed gearbox, which I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more in detail about the gearbox, but also about the car car in general and you get a really nice stylish center console design which obviously is touchscreen as you can see people's mucky fingerprints on and we've got a mode select here where this car does feel like it is put together incredibly incredibly well look at the sports seats that we have here very very nice Recaro seats and we've also got Alcantara inserts which I didn't realize Alcantara mesh style inserts which is um, actually a really cool touch I didn't realize and if we're gonna look at the point of view here we have got the Cadillac steering wheel with all of the various buttons here that light up. We've got cruise control there. We've also got the controls for the system here. We've got satellite navigation. We've got heated seats. We've got reverse parking cameras. We've got many, 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 many features. And what you do to start it up, of course, you put your foot on the brake and hold down the start button. And then it comes into life. And we get all of the dials here. We've got a nice little welcome note there. Put the window up so that the air conditioning comes into full effect because it is necessary out here in Dubai. Although it is end of November, it is incredibly hot. I think it's about 25, 26 degrees and it is nine o'clock in the morning. We are driving on a Sunday in the UK, Europe, and probably most of the world. <laughs> Sunday is um, a chill day, but here it is the start of the working week. We are now cruising in automatic in the V6 twin turbo, which on very, very light accelerations feels like any other car. And I'm no driving expert, so even though I'm trying to work out whether I can tell this is a turbocharged car, I probably can't because I think this is maybe the first or second turbocharged car I've ever driven. And the way that these cars are going now with the turbos is very, 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 very good in taking out the turbo spool and the turbo boost buildup. Um, can we go? Yeah, I go. Uh, there is yeah. a red, 
red arrow is all very confusing. Not only are we driving on the other side of the road, the steering wheel was on the other side of the car, and everyone is on a mission and probably is very familiar with the road, so it's very difficult to try and navigate not only around cars, but around road signs, trying to understand where things are. At the moment, I'm driving completely blind. I don't know where we're going, and once the video ends, I'm gonna be putting Google Maps on back to where we can try and recognize some of the roads. Let's put my foot down. Okay, it's quick. This is in the standard mode and in automatic, so there was a slight delay putting my foot down on the accelerator for the car to realize and think, what is this guy doing? I need to kick myself up the backside. So let's put it into sport and then try and have a little bit more fun with not only the accelerator, the steering wheel and the gears. And put it into track. And immediately, I don't know whether you could hear that, but the exhaust valves open up as if like we are now in a track focused car. And I have been told by the Cadillac representative that at low speeds this car is quite playful and there's quite a lot of play in the steering and it's a lot of fun to drive in and around town but then when you put it on the track the faster you go the better everything works the chassis on this car has been stiffened up the brakes on this car have been beefed up they are still steel they're not carbon ceramics but that combination is there because Cadillac know that it works and um, I think it works very very well from the five minutes that I've been driving this car so far <laughs> but in general I have been spending a lot of time in the CTSV because that seems to be the car that we all ferry ourselves around in and that car is just an animal 6.2 litre supercharged V8 whereas this is a twin turbo V6 this is definitely more of a driving focused car so whilst we're sitting in traffic let's talk about this engine that is in the car this is the first twin turbo setup of any Cadillac V series so this is quite revolutionary in terms of trying to build a car that is twin turbo oh what's going on here like are we allowed to still go so this is a giveaway this is the confusing things that we need to tackle whilst trying to film a review on this car it's driving like I feel like we're on a motorway that's got a giveaway sector I suppose we're gonna work out and put it into oh we're already in manual are we in manual the acceleration of this car is about to be tested. <laughs> so track definitely livens up the throttle response, that is for sure. And um, we've got a Cadillac behind us. We've got like a proper executive Cadillac behind us, which is, um, well, I suppose this is what it feels like to have this car in my wing mirror. It is seriously aggressive, those lights. And there it goes. Oh, those gear shifts are lightning quick. I wasn't expecting them to be that quick. Wow, that even scared me a little bit. What I had in mind for this video was not only was I gonna try and drive or navigate myself around Dubai, I also wanted to try and work out whether I could feel the turbos in the car at the moment i've been in track mode i'm going to put it into sport mode and try and calm the car back just a little bit to see whether there's any sort of play in the turbos and the way that the car builds up the revs and also delivers the power i also had in mind that i was going to try and talk really technical stuff about how this car is just so good how rigid it is how stiff the chassis is and how good of a track car this is unfortunately we don't have access to yas marina this weekend because there's some sort of race on at the moment um, and they are using the track for the entire uh, weekend which is when we have the car so unfortunately we can't just I really want to put my foot down, plant it down the road, but there's strict laws here on speeding and also probably driving quite silly because I can imagine back in the day, well, there's videos online proving back in the day with Carrera GTs just power sliding everywhere. Um, but I also wanted to talk some, or, or attempt to talk quite technical about some of the cool bits and pieces and factors that this car has that makes it the car that it is, but I don't have a very good memory, so... I think you're gonna to have to tune into Tim Shmi150's channel to get all of that technical information. Well, I mean, 
mean, that was about 40 to 50% throttle response, but the power delivery, is it right to say power delivery was linear? Is that right? Like in terms of like that? Look at me, that, that was pretty technical, I suppose. Now this is the second American car that I have driven and growing up and reading journalistic reviews on American cars, a lot of them are very lethargic in the way that they steer, they're very wobbly and I suppose the best way to describe most of the handling or what you probably expect to be Now, if you, like me, um, thoroughly enjoy reading car reviews, over the years, growing up, uh, reading Top Gear Evo, or all, of the, all of the car magazines and watching car reviews on TV, you probably have the perception that most American cars are quite lethargic in the way that they handle. They handle a bit like a boat, they're very wobbly, and the suspension is very, ooh, look at this, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I think, or I've got to change perception, or perception? I have got a changed perception on how these cars handle American cars in general. And I'm falling in love with American cars more and more. I love the Ford Mustang. I love these Cadillac cars that we have. I probably would have overlooked them, but now that I've had, got behind the wheel of them and experienced them, um, yeah, these cars are really, really cool. If you were tuning in to hear all of these technical aspects and statistics and information on the car, then I apologize, but I suppose my channel or myself isn't that. There's another car just pulling into a parallel space. I'm actually quite looking forward to watching Tim's review on this car because I'm sure he's going to do a better job of talking about some of the details and the information and the specs on this car. So make sure that you head over to Tim and Sam's channel who have both done their best at reviewing these cars. That is it for now. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the Formula One video. Cheers guys. Two bars in this deck. When we put it on the deck. Oh, look at that shark. <laughs> a shark on board the yacht. <laughs> this is when it gets a bit crazy. Yeah. There's just VIP suite here. In total seven cabins, seven suites in the yacht. Massive rooms, very comfortable, spacious. So take it down to the ground deck. As you can see, the marble floor. Yeah, this is just insane. Talk to a lot of them, it's just one. Everything's redone in marble, onyx and crystal. Five cabins down here. The master suite in there with its own spa, gym and massage room. <laughs> <laughs> you can like, you can live on this 24-7. It's better than a house. Why you yeah. have a house? Yeah.